Don't you girls? Say it again, I see it. Hey there everybody, it's time for me to talk about another one of my favorite characters in their Season 2 deck profile. It's time for Atticus Rhodes, otherwise known as Night Shroud. Which, funny enough, both Atticus Rhodes and Night Shroud make appearances in this season. But instead of making a deck for each, they're just going to have combined deck, because why the hell would I do the other way? So here we go everybody, we're going to have Atticus Rhodes deck with a little Night Shroud on top because he does duel Zane in his Night Shroud form, and he duels Alexis in his Atticus form. Night Shroud is here, so your Cyber Dark Edge is no more. I think you've suffered enough. Funny enough. He doesn't win either of those duels. In fact, Atticus Rhodes might have one of the least, uh, or probably one of the worst win-loss records in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. I actually don't know if that's true, but he probably does. So, let's go ahead and look at one of my favorite people, because they use the Red-Eyes Black Dragon, and one of the cooler cards, the Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon. I know Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon is not the easiest card to summon, not the best, but at the end of the day, I still think it's really cool, and I am very happy to see it. So... We have Red-Eyes Darkness Dragon, we have Red-Eyes Black Dragon. He also uses Beast Warriors in his deck because when he was Atticus Rhodes, you know, just the brother of Alexis, uh, rather than being the Night Shroud, he uses a Beast Warrior deck and he has the Indomitable Fighter Lele with his 2300 attack stat. It's insane. He also has Panther Warrior with his 2000 attack stat. He has 1600 from Mirage Dragon, 1600 from Pitch Black Warwolf. Both are really good tactical cards that stop trap cards during the battle phase. He's got Tactical Troop Dragon and Tactical Red-Eyes Black Chick. He runs Dragon's Gunfire for getting rid of weak monsters or for just doing straight up burn damage. He's got Inferno Fire Blast for the intense burn damage of 2400. He's got Stray Lambs for some stall and tributes. He's got Tribute to the Doom. He's got himself Super Rejuvenation. Uh, rejuvenation, ju rejuvenation. My brain has turned off and I apologize. Uh, rejuvenation in order to draw more cards when he tributes dragons on the field. Um, he's got himself Call of the Haunted, which is super nice. Runs Negate Attack, which is super helpful. Honestly, his deck is a solid one. But let's go ahead and dive into Atticus Rhodes stats. Looking at his stats, here we are. Um, yeah, this guy likes one side pretty much, but he's not bad at a lot of things. He's good at most things. So, looking at his stats, his attack stat is above average easily, and that's because he runs Indomitable Fighter Lele and Panther Warrior. These monsters have huge attack stats, even if they do come with a cost. Also, he runs Red Eyes, which is just a solid 2 tribute, and Darkness Dragon, which if it gets on the field, is going to be a powerful card in this deck. So when it comes to attack, these monsters are the reason why. Mirage Dragon, Pitch Black, Warwolf are fine. Troop Dragon to Red Eyes Black Chick, that's where the problems start. This is where it drags, drags down his attack stat from being perfection. Um, that and his boss monster having an undeterminable attack, uh, max attack stat, because who the hell knows how many you're going to have in the grave when it comes to dragons. You can have up to 9 dragons in the grave. Tech. Oh no, there's Mirage. 12 dragons in the grave. So 12 times 3, it can have 36 more 100 attack which would be 6,000 attack is its ultimate attack stat, which is incredible and unstoppable. But the odds of that are very low. At most, you're going to be above 3,000, which is super good. Um, but overall, this deck, when it comes to attack, is really solid. Moving on to his speed stat, he actually does have some speed-based cards. Red-Eyes Black Chick is a special summoning card for Red-Eyes Black Dragon. Troop Dragons special summon off of each other. They're floaters. It's really nice. Um, he also has some special summons with Stray Lambs, which counts as both speed and skill. Um, he also has um, Super Rejuvenation for drawing cards, so that goes into his speed stat. So his speed stat is a little above average. It's not crazy, but it's a little above average because he has so much special summon and draw power potential. Um, well, draw power is not as much, but the special summon potential is pretty high for this deck. Getting out a Red-Eyes Black Dragon is nowhere near as hard as you would think. So going into the skill stat this guy's skill stat is above average and for good reason the reason is he stops trap cards which is really nice but mostly it's because he's got burn cards right here big burn cards right here these two burns count as 2400 each 
that kind of burn is on a different level. You could literally win the duel with this much burn. 4,800 damage is over half of your opponent's life points. Even if you only get one of these, you do over a fourth of your opponent's life points. So it's pretty crazy. Plus, he has two Dragon Spires to go with it. So when it comes to skill, he's got it going on. Skill can also be applied to his stall cards like Stray Lambs. Stray Lambs gives him two summons, which is, you know, it's part of his special speed stat as well, but it can be used as stall. Um, overall, though, what really makes his skill stat as high as it is, is going to be the Red Eyes Inferno Fire Blast combo. It's just so much burn damage that it definitely can win duels. So, moving on to his defense stat. As you can see, it's pretty pitiful. It's actually way below the average. Red Eyes is fine, but you're not going to use Red Eyes for defense. Darkness is the same thing. It's not a defensive monster. Triple zero, 16 is solid from Panther. 600, 600, 800, 500, no. This deck is not very good defensively. At least it has negate attack, but it's not very good defensively. Honestly, his deck is super below average when it comes to, uh, yeah, when it comes to defenses. Like, super below. Um... But that's okay. Luck stat, he doesn't use luck. And when it comes to the brick stat, this is where Atticus Rhodes is a mixed bag. He's average because brick, 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 brick. This one's a super brick, honestly. Um, Panther Warrior is not technically a brick, but isn't technically that beneficial of a card either due to its effect. Um, Dragon's Gunfire shouldn't brick in this deck, but because he runs Beast Warriors on top of his dragons, it can be a brick card. Inferno Fire Blast is a straight-up brick card. These are brick cards guaranteed. Um, Super Regeneration, Rejuvenation, oh my god, um, is a brick card 100%. Um, so bricks, Super Bricks, um, let's see, where were the other bricks? Kind of bricky, but not too bad. Uh, super Brick and Bricks. That's just how it is with this deck. His deck is just average when it comes to Brits because he has a lot of solid cards he could just summon. Lots of spells and traps that are usable, but he does have a mix where they aren't use there's some that aren't usable either. Overall, when it comes to Atticus Rhodes, what I love about him in the show is that he is a guy who got tricked by Banner. If Giant, he had a, Banner had a group of students, okay? A group of students he thought were the best and decided to take them to a horrible realm. And in that horrible realm, each of these students got infected. And Nitroud was one of them, and or Atticus was one of them who got infected by Nitroud. But Atticus was one that came back. Sure, he came back as Nitroud, but he was one of the few kids that escaped, which makes it seem like he was supposed to be a really strong duelist. And it turns out, in the show, they mentioned it multiple times that Atticus Rhodes was one of the strongest duels in the show. Which is why I hope some of the female characters like him, and it's not just his looks. Fonda Fontaine, you need to lay the fuck off, okay? Okay, he's a child, get away from him. No. Okay, but other than her, the rest of them like Atticus Rhodes. I think he's cool. Um, I love his dance in Tag Force where he shakes his ass at you. It's super funny. Um, I think his character has a lot of life to him. Obviously, Alexis doesn't like him because he's all about, Hey, sissy, how you doing? And um, Zane, it was one of his good friends, but... Zane's in his emo phase during this season, so him and him and Zane are at odds, kind of. But, I mean, it's not like he wasn't at odds in Season 1, because Atticus was his, in his emo phase. That's where he got Darkness Dragon from, from his Night Shroud phase. But, he's done with that. Now he just has a taste of Night Shroud, he's not using it as much. So... That's going to be it for Atticus Rhodes' deck. Overall, I would say he does have a potential for winning the tournament. Having these beater monsters gives him a nice advantage. Having trap stoppers gives him a nice advantage. Having popping cards and burning cards gives him a nice advantage. Making it easy to summon Red Eyes gives him a good advantage. Overall, I think the only reason he would lose a duel is if somebody outskilled him and was able to not be destroyed easily and force out most of his monsters, or if they just straight up overpower Red Eyes. Because even though Red Eyes is really strong, somebody with a higher attack stat will ruin him. Granted, Darkness is really hard to overpower, but someone with a higher attack stat than Red Eyes is going to just ruin him. So, overall, really enjoyed Atticus' deck. Um, love him in the show. Really fun character. A um, little annoying when he's all about that sissy stuff, but or like, hey, how you doing, sissy? But when he has that little bit of Night Shroud in him, oh man. He's a fun character to watch, and I love Red Eyes, so I gotta love him. That's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'm gonna say three-star potential. You know, he's above average. Um, has a good chance of uh, winning the tournament, but not a great chance. 
Uh, overall, I would say this deck is usable. If you like Atticus Rhodes, I hope you try to pick up his deck by joining us on Discord. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe to the video so that we can reach that 15k subscri subscriber goal. And uh, I'll see you all next time. Thank you all for watching, and goodbye. <laughs>